What's up, guys? How's everybody doing today? Today, I'm going to try something new here. We're going to do it all over print design. Something simple, something basic, just to get your... Get an idea of how to really put one of these together. And I think today the theme, we'll probably use graduation. We'll do a simple graduation design. And yeah, you'll see how to basically add the background, the foreground, and then maybe some text, and then a few, few elements, like some accent elements there. All right. But before we get into that, I will say what's up to my people here. What's going on? June is in the building. Aka, Akin. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Welcome. Jesse, what's going on, Jesse? Premier One Apparel. What's up? What's up? Joe, what's going on, Joe? Appreciate it. June said she loved the background. Yeah, I'm playing with this um this Zoom thing a little bit. See, I had to throw the, the logo in the background there. Nelaja State. What's going on? Sorry if I mess up your name, guys. But go ahead, smash the like button if you're just coming in here. My face is here still, but I want to do more of this, like, this screen share thing to get you guys familiar with Photoshop a little bit more. Liberator print is in the building. Okay. So basically I, I got an inspiration earlier watching a video on a night. So a night did a video and she was walking people through, she had like a contest going on and people submitting their designs and then she's encouraging them to create something in Photoshop or on her website. But that got my inspiration brewing a little bit. I said, I should do something like this for the channel. So we're going to do something completely from scratch, a, a all over print design. It's basically just putting the design together and building your elements to, to fit, to fit your, um, your t-shirt size. Okay, pork chop. What's up, pork chop? I'm hungry. You coming on here with a name, pork chop? Hope you got some for me. But all right. So as you guys can see, my screen right here. I mean, I am in um Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC. Guess whatever the newer version is. So to get started, I have a background here and. Okay, you have to have a few elements. So because this is just generic, I'm not doing this for somebody, an actual person. I went ahead and downloaded some, some graphics of a graduate. And the one that I got is actually like an emoji or something with a graduation hat. So we're going to use that. We're going to plant that into the shirt, into the design. We're going to add some elements there, some text, maybe like you did it, graduation, whatever, something, something a little like generic, I guess. All right, so you can start different ways. So you need a background. So for our background, your background could be a solid background. It could be a gradient background. For this tutorial, I think I wanna do something with a gradient. I wanna do a gradient background. So, We have our foreground there. Sometimes the gradient tools be hiding from me. Uh, where is it? My gradient tool should be. You know what? Somebody help me out. Where is it? Where is my gradient tool? It's over here. No. Oh, man. Over here. I need to redo my thing. There it is. It's under the paint bucket. I thought I was already there. But okay. So we're going to pick our gradient tool here. And we'll see what color we have 
selector in here already. So right now I have this like yellow going to this white fit into yellow type of thing. We can go with that or we can change it. You can change it by just like clicking down here, choose the color that you want. Maybe we'll do a purple going to the yellow. Now we'll hit okay on that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start from the bottom, holding shift. I'm going to go up and that adds a gradient that you you're looking for, or you can just, you can play with this any way you want. You can do it halfway. You can do it this way. I mean, you got, you got to figure out what direction you want your gradient to go. But for me, I think I want to go from, Like that from like the light to the dark type of way type of um gradient there so this would be our background that's our basic background and we may add other elements in there down in the future and i'm gonna drop this t-shirt template here this t-shirt design that i have and this t-shirt design again was purchased from a template that I purchased from, what's her name again? Shannon on a night. So I have this. So now the goal here is to design everything within, let's say we'll do some, everything within this area here. As you can see, just so no matter what size you size this design to, everything else on the outside it's gonna be just like the accent that could get cut off. So your safe zone is within this box, all right? So everything that we design, we wanna keep it within this box. So that way we're not cutting anything off, all right? You guys good, you following? You smashing that like button, right? Smash the like button if you're finding value in this. like I don't like that color. Y'all like that color? I don't like the background color, but we'll, we'll probably add some elements in there. We'll probably, we'll probably go, even though this is supposed to be basic, but we'll probably go a little extra and do something different. What's up, Ramon? All right, so we have this. So the next thing now, this is our background. Next thing we want to define is our, our foreground. A foreground could be the person, the picture, like you can have more than one foreground. You can put multiple elements in there, maybe a, a group photo, a photo of just the graduate in different different forms with her hat, without the hat, with his his um, gown on, without his gown on, whatever it is. All right, so. Now I'm gonna go and drop in my element here or my foreground. So I did download. So I'm gonna place embed it. I did download this emoji here. I'm gonna bring all three of these. No, I think I'm gonna bring her in right now. So this will be our graduate. We'll pretend like this is our graduate picture here. Okay, remember we're gonna bring everything within. We're gonna keep everything within here. We'll just say she only put the client only provided one picture for us, and this is it. We'll put it right there. Try to center it. The good thing about Photoshop is gonna snap right to the center line. You see, you got if you have your got your snap to grid checked in. If you don't, if you go to view, you just want to hit snap to, and then snap to guide, snap to layer. You want to make sure those are all checked in. Okay, so we got our graduate, a pretty little emoji graduate here. And one thing that I would like to do, see the way this is just a sharp cut at the bottom here? I would, I'm going to fade that in to the background so it's not as sharp. And to do that, 
I'm going to switch my colors here. I'm going to make sure I'm on that layer. All right. And we're going to go back to our gradient there. Okay, so again, we're on that. Now, tell me, it's not directly editable. All right. So we we'll have to do it a different way. So instead of using the gradient, I'm going to create, first you gotta create a layer mask. All right, so I'm going to create the layer mask by hitting the little circle rectangle button there. Boom. So now you get the square filled in with white. You want to make sure that's white. And again, we should be able to do our gradient now. If we just grab and just fade that in. That was too much. So you could do it that way. I like that. But then I still got my sharp edges, my sharp edge there. So another thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab my brush here. Get some brush, size up my brush a little nice. And then I'm going to just Try to fade that in a little better using the brush tool. All right, we're gonna put some text there so it's gonna blend into the text. So that's our first foreground. So our foreground is in. Our foreground is in there. I feel like we can make our graduate a little bigger without moving her. All right, let's get our graduate a little bigger there. Let's get it back centered. Boom. All right. So we have our background. We have our foreground. Now we want to add our foreground. Then we want to add some text. All right. So this is it's a little plain. I like the extra stuff. So I'm going to do something else to it. I'm actually going to bring in another another um background layer let's see what we got mm -mm -mm. let's see what i got here try to find something that we can blend into it We'll just throw this in there. Let's see how I graduate play football. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. But now that I got it here, I'm going to just drag it in. Boom. So not to spend too much time on trying to find something, I'm just going to bring in this image here. I'm going to blow it up, scratch it a little bit, resize it. And then we're going to bring it underneath our graduate. So another thing, what we could do here, we could play with the blending and see what type of effects we get based trying to compare our two, our two backgrounds, foreground, and that so we can play with the blending tool a little bit there and see what type of blending we can get the dark end it's a little dark and this the soft the overlay is nice so we're gonna go with the overlay all right so not just to not spend too much time on that we're gonna go with the overlay so that's better i like i like that better i like it because it's not so plain you know, 
we got a graduate here, a graduate was playing football or was a cheerleader or a referee, or whatever. All right. Somehow this graduate wanted a football stadium imparted in this design. So that's what we did. And these designs I just found on like Google. You can just find backgrounds on Google and whatever source you have to find your, your designs. All right. You guys good? Everybody's good? Smash that like button. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, we're good. We're following E. We're following. What's up, Frank? Say what's up to a few more people before we move on. Ramon is here. Asa, Asa Earth. What's going on? It's a good night, everybody. Ramon said he was colorblind. So somebody got me doing dr drunken tic tac toe. Okay. Sketches the design is in the building. What's going on? Yes, Joan, I did watch those videos. It was great. Keep them coming. Any up is in the building. What's up? What's up? Yep. All right. Good stuff. Okay. So we're going to keep going. If I miss you. Just let me know. Hey, E, you didn't say hi to me. <laughs> Leave a comment. But all right, so we jump back in. So we got her here. So we got our foreground. We got some extra, extra design into the foreground. So our whole background there. We got the football layer there. So now you can see she blends in a little bit better with the, with the background. You can see the stadium through her, people right through her gown there. So now the next thing we're going to do here we're gonna add some text, all right? We're gonna add some text because this is our graduate. So we can just do a simple text layer here. Boom, try to find something that's nice and bold. So we're just gonna put, you, Go. No, you know what? We'll just put. You did it. You did it. Yay. Just like I just did. I did it because I was overthinking that thing. We're going to resize this a little bit, bring it up, make it a little bigger. All right, we're also going to change the color there, add a color overlay. But for now, we just do let's do something, let's catch a color from right here. Boom, and then we'll add a background to that later or a offset or a stroke that's the right word. We'll add a stroke to it. I'm going to change this font, I want this one to be some type of script font. All right. So again, we're gonna keep it all within our safe area here. All right. That color is kind of disturbing. I'm not feeling it. Let's snatch this one here. Let's see what this yellow look like on her gown. That's fine. We'll just add a stroke behind it. So we'll take the yellow off her gown there. Not her gown. This um, what they call this thing? This thing, this rope thing on the hat. Somebody tell me what, what is that? What did what do they call that? Okay, so now because it's bothering me, I'm going to add a stroke to this. So I'm just going to go to my effects panel. If you see down here, you see the FX. 
Then you can add different effects. I'm just gonna go to my blending to blending options there. Bring that up. And I'm gonna add a stroke first. Yep, so it has the white stroke there. You can change the stroke color by just clicking in there. Change the stroke color to whatever you want it to be here. We can change it to uh, whatever, just choose one here. But I think I like the white just for this purpose of this video. I'm gonna add the white there. Boom, you did it, yeah. And then I'm gonna add something else there. So let's just say, we put you did it there. Move it up a little bit, you did it. And then we'll add another text here. But this time we'll do, I'm just gonna hold Alt and drag this down shift alt and shift to keep it coming straight down and then i'm going to change this to graduate of course we'll change that font because we don't want to have two script fonts within this design here so i'm going to double click i'm going to change my font to something bold all right we'll do like maybe varsity even though that's not bold, but we'll do varsity. I should have varsity here. Yep, because she's on the football team and she did it. Yes. We're gonna actually make that you did it a little smaller. Okay, we're gonna do that you did it smaller. Uh, Just resizing this. Okay, you did it. Yeah, oh, wrong, move the wrong thing here. Okay. And I want to change this color as well. So let's say the school color was this gold and maybe purple or something. I'm going here. I'm going to grab my purple. All right. And then we'll add a stroke here again. Oh, we already got a scroll. We just got to click on the scroll to go into this menu and then change the scroll color. So for this scroll color, we want to use this elf as the offset. It's a little dark. So let's play with it. Something like that, you know. We're going to spend more time in playing with that. But for right now, just showing you all the, the steps and all the different things that you gotta do. All right, so we, we have our foreground, which is the, the color, the, the person here, our graduates, our foreground. We have our background. Our background right now is this, whatever is in the shirt, the design here, which we, we combine two colors here. So what we did, we took the a background, which was gradient. We added that in. So if I took that off, we get something like this. This is still nice, you know? So even if I turn that off, we get just that. But I wasn't feeling it. I felt like it was a little too plain, and I like the extra. So I added the extra there, all right? And then we'll play with the blending options. We're able to get this different type of blending mode here. All right, so now this is what we got. We got our foreground. Our background, we got our text, but I feel like I want to add some 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 accent elements. So I'm I'm gonna add because it is a graduation. I want to add something else in there just to. So I'm gonna grab my graduation cap and diploma. And I'm going to drop it about right here somewhere. But of course, it's blocking our text. So what we got to do, 
we got to first confirm it. Then we got to go over into our layers here and bring it down underneath our text. Text, where are you text? Underneath our text there. But you can see our save zone was this bottom line here. So right now we're cut off. So I'm going to resize my diploma and stuff a little bit. We can resize it somewhere else. Let's not keep everything so centered. Try to find a good position for this thing here. It's cut off there. We'll drop it right about right there. Okay, so we're good. We have something extra. And for me, I feel I like to have stuff coming in from like the sleeve. Like I feel like something needs to happen up in this area. So we can put like 2018 or 2020, 2019, whatever year it is that this graduation is happening. You can put some type of number here, you know? So let's add another text layer and let's just put, So it's 20 could mean her jersey number, you know. Yep, so our 20 can go right there. Oh, that's what it was. It was a toss, tassel, tassel. <laughs> I can't, I still can't say it. So this mic that I'm using, uh, June, I wish, I need, I, I have an extra one of these too that's just sitting here. I could get it shipped to you somehow, but this mic that I'm using, um, yeah, I don't even know the name to it. Lonnie is in the building. Ping is here. Joe said, this is interesting. I have not designed for sub. Yes. So this would definitely help you out for if you're doing something with full colors. I mean, with um, all over print. Tassel. I still can't say the word, y'all. Y'all forgive me. What's up, now? We have Jason from Graphic Warehouse in the building. What's up, bro, bro? Keisha Mountain, Keisha Martin is here. Gina, what's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so let's get back to it. So far, this is what we got, okay? So this could be, this right here could be it. All right, this could be it. This is a good all over print design. This this is it. I like it, but <laughs> I I feel like I still want to do more. You know, I still want to do more. At this point here, you you can print this. I mean, you can print this. You can tie this for any any um steps that you want. So we can then do the next step here to tile it. And but before we do that, tiling it is basically just like breaking it down depending on the sheet that you're using and if you're doing an all over print like this i i would suggest doing like a 13 by 13 if you don't have the big um those big 24 inch cut uh, printers this would be definitely a way to go so you need the blue angel doing a flyby the blue angel doing a flyby Got to tell me more. What is? What do you mean? The blue angel. What is the blue angel? Mm. 
Okay. Let's see. Let's see what type of brushes we have here. So you can add some brushes, brush elements in here. I have a bunch of brushes here that I downloaded. So we have this like dry media. I have different types. And let's see what this. Uh, so let's just do a new layer and then let's grab our brush. Let's make this a little bigger here. Let's see which one is this. Resize it. So we got something like that, but you can change the color to your brush. So let's we'll take this. I don't like that one. Let's add this paint splatter. Boom. You can do something like that. <laughs> I mean, there's different things you can do. You can play with it any way you want. Maybe the brush is not what we want to do. But I think so far, I like this design. I actually like it a lot. You can change this up here. So let's say if we were to change this to a smart object, it actually comes in as a smart object. So if I double click this, it opens up somewhere else. And then what I can do, I can bring in another element Let's say I want to put somebody else's picture here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's find me a person. Let's just do this. No, I'm going to put my man here because he graduated. And then I'm going to save it. Oh, what just happened? Because I ended up, instead of going to place, I opened a new tab. Let's put my man right here. And then we're going to turn her layer off. Put him in there. We can save this. If you hit the X there, it's going to tell you you can save it. Boom. Uh... Actually, it didn't save. It's not saving that way. If you save it like this, so you cannot save this document. It's original files, fly and fly and layer. All right. It's one. It wants to be hard headed. What we can do? We can just drop my man LeBron in here. Place, embed it. And drop him in here somewhere. And turn her off. It's how I graduate there. Put him behind the text a little bit. Or maybe we don't put him behind the text. We just float it up a little bit here. And then we can fade in the bottom. So we can fade in the bottom by then creating the layer mask here. Go into our brush, change our brush to a regular brush. Or let's see if we use this brush here. It adds a little bit to it. You know, but then we still got to put him behind the text. So I want to put him behind the text layer there. And he got something like that, you know? That fast, you can change this to anybody that you want. And that's what we got. It's got just that good tutorial. The Navy fighting jet. Okay, the Navy flyers, flyers fighters jet. That flies over stadiums. Ah, I like that. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find that that you just brought up. Uh, I have to look on Google real quick and see if I can find it. 
Navy fighter jet. Navy fighter jet. Okay, boom. Let's go to Navy Fighters Jet right there. Let's grab a photo. All right, so let's see which one we want. Boom. Let's take this one here. Let's save it. Okay. Bam. I'm here, y'all. I'm just getting the Navy's flyers jack for y'all. Add that in. I'm gonna remove the background. Bam, download it. And now let's go back to Photoshop here. Or back to YouTube so I can see my comments. Okay, so I got my Navy photo thing here. Actually, now I don't like LeBron. I'm gonna put my graduate back. Where'd she go? Where did she go? There she go. I'm put her in. And then we're gonna go back to place embedded, drop our PNG file that we just created here. So we're gonna bring that in like that, but we're gonna bring it in behind her, drop this layer in, and then we're gonna blend that in. Let's drop it right behind her somewhere. Boom. Just trying a good placement. So yeah, we can bring it in, coming in from like the sleeve. So just know you're taking the risk of some of this getting cut off based on the size shirt that you're doing. And then we can change the opacity of it or we can just blend it or you can do both. So let's see what blending will work good. So the soft right there works. The overlay, I like overlay. Sometimes I like multiple, but that's a little dark there. I like that one. We just do it just because, and then we change the opacity a little bit. Bam. So now that's a little one-sided. So I got to bring this to the other side too. And then we're going to flip it. Image, actually it's gonna, I need to reflect it, uh, my reflect tool. Oh, we can just have them going to both di the same direction. Have it going off on the sleeve like that and have it coming in on the sleeve like that. Yep, that's it. That's how we're looking. Yeah, so this is our design, you know. You guys like it? Give me a thumbs up real quick. If you're just coming in here, give me a thumbs up. It's your first time catching this this live or this channel make sure to subscribe we got tons of videos like this and more tutorials like this to guide you through the steps into your designing phase with photoshop we can also do illustrator i like photoshop when it comes to like photo based type tutorials anything that has to do with manipulating images and then when it comes to illustrator i like to play with text 
and stuff like that. Go ahead, smash the like button. Join our Facebook group if you haven't. It's called Fire Up the Heat Press. Fire Up the Heat Press on Facebook. It's where we're coming from every day. So now we have our thing here. We can take it one step extra because I don't want to leave you hanging here. You know, so we say this is a large shirt. Okay, so this is a large. You can resize this to anything. You just got to first, what I found success with is basically measuring my shirt and then resizing this thing to that. All right, so I know with the medium, it's like 38 or 32 and just add extras on both sides just to have a good bleed. And then the smalls, you just got to figure out your sizing and then resize your template for that. So then, so when, when it comes to tiling up your design, that means tiling your design or cutting your designs for, for print, getting it sized up so you're able to to get it printed on your 13 by 19 sheet. What we have to do here, you gotta set some guides. You gotta set some new guides. So at first, right now, design is good here. We assume that we have everything that we need. We have everything that we need. This is our design. So now I'm gonna clear guides. Go to view, clear guides and got rid of everything that I had on here before. And now I'm going to add some new guides based on my my the, the orientation I want to print this thing at. So let's say, first thing, I'm going to add a new guide, view, new guide, vertical. Let's say I'm printing it in a, I'm printing in a landscape format. All right, so I'm going to start off by saying 19 because my sheet is 19 long. Actually, that's the wrong direction. Control Z on that. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go horizontal. I'm going to go to 19. Bam. Actually, I'm tripping. That was actually the way I wanted to go the first time. I'm really tripping. Now, I'm sorry. One more time. So we're going to do 19. All right. So our first mark right there is 19, and then we want to add 19 more. So 19 and 19 happens to be 38. So our next guide is going to drop at 38. 38. So our next guide now is at 38. And then this extra small little part here, you can size that up and cut it up in whatever size this this happens to be which is just probably like two two and a half inches there so now want to do it the other way now we can drop our guides horizontally and the sheet is 13 so our first part there now we have two blocks of 13 i'm pointing to the screen as if you was like looking at me but here it is there's one 13 there it's another 13 here and it's a little bit so now we want to do it again. This next part, we can either, we can do it either way. We can do it portrait mode based to see, let's see how long, how big this is. So we're a little, we're right at 19 by 19. So that's a little too big for our sheet. So we're not going to do that. We're going to just keep it simple and keep it going the same direction here. Boom. We're going to do our next part here is going to be the same thing. We'll drop another one. So the first time we did what? 13. Yep, we did 13. So 13 and 13 is 26. So we want our next guy now to be at 26. So we got two blocks here and then this little bit we can drop at the bottom part of our image, which is at the next group there. So now you want to do something sitting on my, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to combine a group. I'm going to link my, my backgrounds together. So that way, when I move this, Ooh, wrong thing. If I'm when I move my background, they move as one image. All right. So 
So then you want to use your marquee tool. If you look at the second tool, depending on what workspace you're on, so most likely it's essentials. And you just want to select this area where your marquee tool. So your marquee tool now selects this part of your image. All right. So I'm going to do that. Oh, what happened? I just lost the comments. Let's go back. Uh -oh. I lost you guys. Turn in here. All right, so now, just give me one second to get this comments in here. There it is. It's gonna play an ad to me. Even my video, I get ads on it. <laughs> I gotta watch the ad, y'all. Don't skip the ads. Watch it. Supports the channel. All right, so now, I am going to Merge all my layers. Right click, merge visible layers. So what happens there makes it just one layer. I want to delete that layer there. So now we're able to grab our marquee tool because at first it wasn't, it had too many layers and it was trying to pick through which one. So now we have this. All right, you have to make sure you have selected, you're on that layer, and now you can move this in pieces. And what I like to do, I opened up another document by the sheet size. So this was a comment that I had, actually I had a person FaceTime me or um, hit me up on Instagram to ask this question. Bro, I see that you resized it, but when I printed it, it's, it, it um, printed as the image. When it come in, it was a little smaller. Because what you have to do, so what you want to do is set it up, your orientation, 13 by 13, 300, CMYK, hit OK. This new documents open up, opens up. So now you can copy this. I'm going to put it back in position. It's highlighted. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. And now I'm going to go to my new layer here. I'm going to drop it in there. Control V. And then it drops in here. So this one was, was actually a landscape. So we could have done it. We should have set up our thing landscape. But what you got to do is rotate the image. Rotate the image holding shift. It's going to snap right in. And then just don't print it just at this size. You have to make sure it fits this canvas. So I'm going to grab a corner, resize it. And looking at the numbers on the on the side there, you'll see what size you're at. You sometimes would be over or under. Now holding the shift key, just grab a one of these corners and it's going to snap right into the right number, which is 13 there. And then down at this direction, it's going to snap into 19. It didn't there. That means if it didn't snap into it that way, that means our full selection was short. So that's the step there. And then you guys, you just got to repeat it. You just got to repeat it. Now you want to deselect this by hitting Control D, or you go to Select and Deselect. So then I'm going to go here again and do the next one. 19. By 13, I'm going to go to Control C. These shortcuts help a good bit when you know them. When it comes to this, just to enhance your speed, your work time. So I'm going to turn off my first layer by hitting the I there. And I'm going to rotate this layer here. Shift to snap it into place or to turn it proportionally. And then I'm going to hold Shift by snapping that there. 
and then 19. See, it, it worked out that time because our first selection was not exactly the right size. So you do that and so on, you know, until you have everything selected out of this image. And then you just go in individually and file print this. And it's going to print on your 13 by 13 sheet. And moving forward from there now, your next steps, we already have a video on how to actually piece it together and print it. If you didn't see that video, it's going to pop up somewhere here or look in the channel. It is the how to do all over print sublimation, something in that realm of the title. Okay, so that was it. This video has been awesome showing you guys how to do it. I hope you found value in it. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and show my face for a little bit. Stop the share. And then I'm here, y'all. What's up? What's up? Anybody? I didn't say what's up to Regina. How are you? Okay, Frank, Frank, later, Frank. Make sure you smash the like button on your way out, Frank. <laughs> All right, y'all. So did y'all find value in that? Was it interesting? Was it valuable? How many people found value in that? And so let's say for the next phase, I want to actually drop a challenge. I want to see who's interested in who I want to challenge y'all to design something similar. Oh, what happened to me? I'm like down here somewhere. I want to challenge y'all to design something similar and post it. Post it in the group. Post it in the group. Post it in on Instagram. Tag me in it. Post it on Facebook, tag me in it. I would appreciate if you can post it in the group though, but I know some some of us are not familiar with Facebook or we or not on Facebook. So I just want to challenge somebody to design something that we just did. Just watch the video, go through the same steps and see if you can come up with something like that. Take a screenshot of it. Take a screenshot of it and upload it onto the group. I'm here now. For some reason, I moved the camera and I went all the way at the bottom. Hi, Tia Mac. Say, so howdy. Is that green screen? No, it's not green screen. Just a virtual background that you're able to import within the Zoom. You guys have any questions? Anything that we did that you wanna expand on, maybe in another tutorial, let me know. Drop a comment in the group. I'm actually gonna put it, I'm gonna take a Snapchat of this and post it in the group, and then we can start a conversation. Okay, I appreciate that feedback, Jesse. Jesse said he likes this kind of live. This like educational live tutorial type of thing. I like doing it, you know, I like doing it. And you guys get it on the channel for free. This is something that I show people how to do in the Photoshop class. I actually have one tomorrow and yep. So if you're interested in knowing this and getting a hands on, like either hands on or one-on-one -on -one section, just you and I, go ahead and hit, hit up the, um, the website. That's Heat Press University and book you a two hour section. Just be two hours, you and I, instead of this one hour here where you can expand. If you actually have a design that you, you need to work on, we can do it together. And this is just a graduation. You can do this with anything else. This could be a rest in peace. You can switch the background up a little bit, turn it into a rest in peace thing. You can do, this could be football. You can put different elements in here. There's so many different things you can do, y'all. Appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel. The channel is growing. I believe before this live, we hit 2,700. So 
hand clap to all of y'all. You guys have been awesome. Continue using the the Amazon links and using all our um our affiliate links in the descriptions. If you're looking for ink, check out Cosmo Ink. And if you're looking for blanks, we have now partnered up with Blank Galore. So Blank Galore or on Facebook. So you can join the Blank Galore group on Facebook as well. The lady Cassie has a bunch of blanks that she's selling there. And yeah, that's the community that we're partnered up with recently. And we're working together for a bigger, bigger, bigger plan. All right. Anything else? The biggest size shirt I've done so far is a large. It's a large. Depending on, like, if you're doing something like it's a five, five X or something, you may have to. That's why it's important. The biggest thing with this, it's important to have a guide. You see, when we did this, originally we had a guide, and everything was within that guide. So then everything else on the outside just becomes like, like overlays. So even if they get cut off, your main design is not going to get cut off. So if you design within a 13 by 19 guide around this image, you can just print that as one sheet. And then the rest of it is just be like background on the big shirts. But the biggest I've done so far is a large. I did two, three of them, two largest and a medium so far. And both of them were, the other two were rest in peace shirts. And this guy was amazed today. He broke down in tears when he picked up this shirt. And stuff like that, it gets, I mean, it gets a little emotional. Those are meaningful thing. And these shirts like this, is not a one-time shirt. If you design an all-over print shirt for someone, best believe they're going to be doing it for, they're going to be wearing it for a while. And then with hair, you can do it back too. So with the back here, I'll probably not have her picture on there. I'll probably have something different. I'm going to go back a few steps here and then I'm going to save this in my tutorials. I'm going to have to create a tutorial folder here back on my hard drive. They said they're working on it. They're working on it. All right. I'm going to go to my sublimation folder. Okay. Garment creations. And then I'm going to do a folder here for YouTube tutorials. All right. So I'm going to put, put this in as all over print graduate. So now this here is going to be a template for me. Okay. So next time I want to edit this thing, I'm going to have this template. And it's, the next steps is going to be way easier. I'm just have to just plug in the photos and change the backgrounds and all that good, good stuff. I actually don't think I put that in the folder. I don't think I put that in the folder. I actually just created a folder and then drop it in it. But yep, this here is good to go. And I'm going to take a screenshot of it and put it into the group. Take this my snipping tool right here. Grab me a snippet of this right here, like this. So, bam, 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 bam. Save this into that same folder that I thought I created just now. Sublimation, Garment Creations, bam, of course. So then where did it go? Oh no, it went, it was missing here. Grad. Snip. All right. So that's it, y'all. It's still saving. That's why it wasn't there. It's still saving. It's a big file, you know. These PSB files are big files. So you work on this, you post it, and people start hitting you up. Hey, can you make me a design or can you do it all over print for me? 
stuff like that is going to start happening for y'all. I actually had a lady that was interested in it all over. There she go. She wants a memorial. Um, she wants a rest in peace design for his son. Those things, those designs are hard to do, man. It's like because you got so much emotions behind it. Twelve gone. What's up, twelve gone? So I haven't tried. I haven't tried the all over yet. Not sure if the time is worth the money where I live. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. All right. So the shirt, I did the shirt, the rest in peace shirt that I did. I think y'all seen on an Instagram video. If you didn't, you should go, you should be following me on Instagram. And you um what was I talking about? Yeah, those shirts, I sold it for just the front. I sold it for 40 bucks. I mean, 40 bucks. And then they just keep sharing it with their friends. It's a community. They're all from Frankfurt. So it's this kid that got murdered. So they're all wrapping the shirt. So now they're just sharing it. And it, it just keeps coming in. So eventually, like, that time is going to pay off. But it does take a lot of time piecing up the design. But I think once you do a few of them, you, you'll be good. I need to get me one of those cutters. I forgot what they're called. Those cutters that have like, you just do the, the joint and you pull the handle down on the flat board. What is it? Like a glantine or whatever. Those cutters. I need to grab one of them. Because I'm using my blade right now and the lines get a little jagged because your board drink coffee and my hands be shaking. Levite, what's up, bro? So nice. How you how you use the zoom? So this yeah, that's it right there, Jay. That's it, Jesse. Guilt gu guillotine, <laughs> guillotine cutters. Yeah, I appreciate you. I share the videos, man. I appreciate you watching the video, but I would love it more if you guys can share it. Invite people to the group. Let them know, even if they're not into the t-shirt, how else are they gonna see it? How else are they going to get into it if they don't see it? You know, we want to change everybody's life, get them into T-shirt preneurs. All right. Yeah. So for the Zoom, I just got a subscription. I think it's like $14 a month or something like that. And I'm able to do something like this. And then for the background, it's just a virtual background. Rob B, you said what you win. You just won a tutorial on how to do it all over print shirt. But I know you don't get into the sublimation, right? I said, see, we, we re accepting requests to the group right now. I just got one from Sherry. So June. June has been our good ad man. June, man. Shout out to June, y'all. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. June's been holding it down. Even though she changed her name. June Thomas. Thomas. A.K.A. It's a long name, but I like it. And go ahead and check out June's video, y'all. June dropped two videos the other day. One on the sticker and another one on the buttons. That's it, man. We're turning. I hope this video, this uh, channel, encourage people to start their own channels. Go ahead, check out June's channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out Gina's channel. Check out Ross's channel. We're probably all in the same community, anyways. But if you haven't subscribed to them, man, go ahead and check them out. Right? Beats be dropping all types of stuff, you know. Yes, Tia Mac, you're right. Big shout out to June. June's the one on the group approving stuff, encouraging y'all. But what else y'all got for me?
Okay, we're right about eight o'clock. I'm not gonna hold you all up. I do gotta get something to eat and get up out of here. So until next time, y'all keep firing up the heat press, smash the like button, go ahead, share the videos, comment on the video, watch a video that you haven't watched, go in the Facebook group, leave a comment, do all that good stuff that I like to tell y'all to do. All right, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Until next time, I love y'all, and I'm out of here. Peace.